Over the last 10 years, the board has been working on a series of trials and investigations on environmental flows. And today, this short video is going to introduce to you the concept of environmental flows, why we need them, and why we're delivering them. Environmental flows describe a pattern of river flows that are required to maintain river health. They include periods in which the river completely ceases to flow to those periods where the rivers flow full and flush out to sea. These are very important and they're naturally occurring events and what we're trying to do with these environmental flows is to try to mimic what would have happened under natural conditions before the rivers were regulated. With the development of Adelaide has come the regulation of our rivers. This has included the construction of large on-stream dams and also the diversion and pumping of, our, of water from those rivers to supply the growing suburbs of Adelaide and the industry that accompanies it. Now this has resulted in some devastating consequences for our rivers, with some rivers ceasing to flow for at as much as 90% of the time that they would have under natural conditions. To help mimic natural flow conditions, the timing and volume of flows has been carefully planned. There will be periods of no flows, which leaves pools isolated, left to dry out, as would have happened under natural conditions. Low flow events, which would supply the river during times of low rainfall condition. Freshes and flushes at different times of the year. All these events correspond to natural flow conditions and they help cue natural processes in our native fish, such as spawning and migration. For example, flush flows, which clear out sediment, help create habitat for aquatic bugs, and bugs are the backbone of our, of our river systems as they provide food sources. It's important that the environment gets its fair share of water and that this be balanced against human need. This will require careful and very close monitoring to make sure that the water that is released for environmental flows is optimised to produce the best environmental outcome and to make sure that there are no adverse consequences for any communities living downstream.